So what's the most exciting thing about cancer immunotherapy? Well, we're now getting clues that it may actually work. For a long, long time, uh, investigators hoped that using the technologies that we use routinely to vaccinate people against the flu and whooping cough could be sort of rolled over to do immunotherapy of cancer. Didn't work. Enthusiasm. But we know that you can redeploy the immune system to fight cancer because us lab-based scientists were curing mice routinely with immunotherapy. And some, like all things, technological breakthroughs came through, built upon science done in universities. And the science informed the development of these technologies that in the past few years have shown in patients that had advanced incurable cancer, melanoma in particular, as a proof of concept, where chemothera there's no chemotherapy option, there's no surgery option, there's no radiation therapy option, gave them immunotherapy, and in very many patients, the disease went away. And since it could be done at that scale, now we have that toehold that we can exploit and do technical embellishments, again, drilling down on the science, your immune system wasn't designed to fight cancer. But we now know we can engineer it to fight cancer. And the only limits to engineering, since what we're doing is not natural, we're basically redesigning things. We're making synthetic cells. We're genetically engineering tissues. We're manufacturing synthetic hormones. And the whole purpose of that is, again, to fool Mother Nature, to do something that she wouldn't do normally. But we have now the proof of concept that, that we can fool her. So now it's just a question of being smarter and smarter, smarter and smarter at fooling Mother Nature to achieve our ends of immunotherapy.